Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again. Now it's time to show a few new things that have come in in the past few, well, past week or meh, week or two. You may have seen some of these floating behind me on videos in the past. I just finally getting around to digging into them and, uh, and talking about them here. So, um, starting with the, some of the most recent ones, um, I picked up Widowmaker Standby for Pain. Uh, this was just reissued recently on Musical and Vinyl. And there's only 750 of them, so I know I better act fast. I know uh, I saw uh, that uh, Aaron had already shown a copy, so I knew they were out there. I tried to order them from one distributor, and he said that his distributor didn't have any stock or couldn't get them, and he wasn't sure if they were postponed or whatever. But then I saw Aaron have one. I said, well, they weren't postponed. So I was able to grab a copy uh, from another distributor. And they do have one Amazon. Um, there's only 750 of them. <laughs> it's funny because the one I've got is number 719. I don't know if that means that there's only, you know, l that few left or if that's just, you know, a random number, obviously. So these are, they comes with a little insert with some pictures, which is mainly, yeah, it's a band. And it has been reissued on a gold vinyl and a poly sleeve. So if you're not familiar with Widowmaker, shame on you. Um, D. Snyder, this is what he did post-Twisted Sister. One of the things he did post-Twisted Sister. Um, in 1992, they released the first album, which to me is a phenomenal album. And I would like to see that reissued on vinyl. And then in 94, they did this album, which is a great album. But it's a little more, you know, because things were changing. And by 94... It was a little more, he was going a little more relevant, a little more, it's still heavy, it's not grungy, but it's a little more alternative feeling at times. It's kind of hard to, I don't know, I don't want to say too much about it. It's different than the first Widowmaker album. Um, I like them both, love them both. So um, around, it was a little after 94, uh, somewhere a couple years later, I was I, I moved to New York to Long Island in '94, which is not too far from where D. Snyder lives, and he played at one of the uh, places up there. But at that time, he was in that band, the SMFs, D. Snyder's SMFs, which was basically a bunch of young musicians with him singing. So it was it was covering. It was like a Twisted Sister cover band, tribute band with D. Snyder. It was a bunch of younger guys, and at that show, um, I think I picked up. An autograph. I think I got a CD of this. Maybe it was autographed. Maybe I got him to autograph it. Maybe it was already autographed. But anyway, yeah, it was a great show. And then they they re later released a video of those series of shows. He did some shows in like Connecticut and Jersey and New York. And there was like a video, a VHS tape release of that. Later came out on DVD, which I do have. And then there was recently a live up. It came out as a CD also, but then recently an album version of that old CD was released, which I just realized I never did pick up, and it's probably still on my wish list if it's still available. Stand by for pain. Anyway, if you're into it, get it. It's going to go quick, 750 copies. Another one that is quite limited that I was also able to pick up on Amazon, at actually, it's a Canadian release, and I had my eyes on it, but all of a sudden, the dr price dropped like 30%, so I, I jumped on it, and that's The Glory and The Fallen by Leia. Celtic rock celtic -y metal medieval sounding i have all of her albums except the christmas album that came out in 2019 because at the time i was buying i was looking to buy that i'm thinking now at first i thought it was just a picture disc and i'm like blah i don't want to buy it it's a picture disc but when i look back no there were color variants and it is still available on black it might have just been a money thing at the time but it's um you know ancient winter it's christmasy sounding anyway if you haven't checked this out, if you in, if you like that kind of music, you know the medieval, the fantasy type, and some of like video game soundtracking, but yet with guitars and you know and 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 metal at times, uh, you need to check her out. Canadian singer, she is excellent. Like I say, I have like four, or five previous albums to this, and I have to say, on first listen, the other albums I like, I like them all. Each album's a little different. I like them all. This album, as soon as I put it on, took me one listen through it, and I'm like, this album is fantastic. It is fantastic. Um, and on subsequent listens, I've been listening to it online before I bought the vinyl. Um, it is a black edition. There are some color variants. I listened to it online a couple times, 
and I was sold. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I knew I was going to get it eventually anyway. But waited for the price to drop a little. But again, 500 copies worldwide. Now, that may be just of the black. And I think there are some other colors. So it's not as limited because there are probably more than 500 copies. But I went with black because that's what Amazon had. And it was cheaper. And then this is a novelty. Okay, so Macho Man Randy Savage. This actually hit on Record Store Day back last year. Was it was it Record Store Day April or was it Black Friday? I remember seeing it in my store. Because it's on Girder Records. Girder Records is a small label, of course. And to see them finally have some records hit Record Store Day was phenomenal. Now, they had a copy and it was expensive. And this album was selling for uh, an expensive amount of money because it was so sought after to be. And it was a 2000, it was a 2003 CD. And then in 2023, they released it on vinyl for the first time. And the prices were skyrocketing. And so he printed another color variant and then he printed another color variant. And then this is another color uh, that he printed that I haven't even opened yet. It is uh, orange. So. I've listened to it online a couple of times. So when I first saw this coming out, I wasn't interested. I went online and listened to it. I saw a video or so. I listened to the first track or two and immediately was just like, no, no, not going to, wasn't into that. Um, but then the price dropped. He put it on sale, some of the new represses. So I went ahead and bought it, but then I went ahead and listened to it online more i listened to it all the way through and i'm like this is not that bad you got to get past the first song or two which sounded kind of cheesy and then it got into it i'm like okay this gets better and so it did it grew on me it got better um so anyway i grabbed a copy and yeah uh th these are like i said there's a couple different color variants they are probably still available so if you're into that novelty stuff 2003 album that's been reissued 20 years later on vinyl and i do i think that there is still a copy in my local store um, though they paid a lot, they're charging a lot more than I got it from the dealer in this case, because he did run it on sale, which I'm not sure if the sale's still going. But anyway, just a few fun things uh, that I got in recently. So check them out if you're into it. I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.